We live in a world where the people in power want to control what you say. They want to control what's acceptable language to put out there. And if you say something that they deem offensive, they want you to immediately come out there and be pressured to apologize over it. Well, Matt Gates had the perfect response to some of these people. After a clip of him went viral talking about some abortion advocates and protesters and how he's right that all of them seem to be the ugliest women in the world. Florida Congressman Matt Gates gates to abortion rights protesters. Nobody wants to impregnate you. And we may as well watch the entire clip from the beginning here, here at the uh, Turning Point USA Student Action Summit. Have you watched these pro-abortion, pro-murder rallies? The people are just disgusting. Like, why is it that the women with the least likelihood of getting pregnant are the ones most worried about having abortions? Nobody wants to impregnate you if you look like a thumb. If you are being honest with yourself, you know he's right. You know he's absolutely 100% right. When you look out there at all these protests going on, it truly is some of the ugliest, most despicable, gross-looking women that are out there protesting for abortion rights. But let's continue. These people are odious on the inside and out. They're like 5'2". 350 pounds and they're like give me my abortions or I'll get up and march and protest and I'm thinking march you look like you got ankles weaker than the legal reasoning behind Roe versus Wade (laughs) a few of them need to get up and march they need to get up and march for like an hour a day swing those arms get the blood pumping maybe mix in a salad now, is that, uh, is that going after people for their looks? Yeah, it is. Is it going after people for being, you know, grotesquely obese and overweight and unhealthy? Yeah, it is. And some people got very upset by that. And the mainstream media went and started asking questions. Matt Gaze, do you really think that that's okay to say? He has the absolutely perfect response. Is it safe to say that based off of your comments, you're suggesting that these women at these abortion rallies are ugly and overweight? Yes. What do you say to people who think that those comments are offensive? Be offended. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is exactly how we should be interacting. I want you guys to listen to that one more time. Let's do a full screen of Gates. Is it safe to say that based off of your comments, you're suggesting that these women at these abortion rallies are ugly and overweight? Yes. What do you say to people who think that those comments are offensive? Be offended. Mm-hmm. That's how we need to start treating people who are trying to control the way we talk, who are trying to make you apologize simply for making a statement about this group of people that, let's just be frank, is pretty accurate. Not saying all of them, but uh, a a large portion of them certainly seem to be the case, doesn't it? That the people who are screaming the loudest and out there, you know, with their signs... They are the most disgusting women in the world, and they really shouldn't have to worry about getting impregnated by anyone. I love what Matt Gates said right here, and I think that's the way that more people need to handle it. Double and triple down on the stuff you say if you truly mean it. Don't feel like you need to be shamed by the mainstream media or the people that want to control your speech or your ability to talk about certain issues. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.